Hey, what's up guys? It's your friend Fast Eddie, and today I've got a nice little compressor set. Well, I hope it's pretty nice. Uh, I just got this on sale from Home Depot. Uh, picked it up for 180 bucks. So uh, yeah, this is the DeWalt Heavy Duty Compressor Combo Kit. <laughs> Obviously it includes the compressor itself, a nail gun, a hose, and it looks like it's got the uh, quick disconnects already built onto it. So, let's open this guy up and see how we like it. Alright guys, so here is everything that was in the box. And I gotta tell ya, I'm loving the colors of this thing. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know I'm a big DeWalt fan, but these colors and everything just look fantastic. Let's look at the actual compressor itself first. It says it's a max uh, maximum of 165, but I would never go that high just for a, a small nail gun like this. Um, but yeah, it does have the uh, quick connects on it, which is cool. It's got two of them. Obviously, you can run two hoses. Uh, you got your gauges here. Aren't the biggest in the world, but uh, they're still very bright, clean, and very uh, readable. So that's cool. Uh, on off switch right there on top, which is cool. Uh, more DeWalt badging. There's the top of it. Nice handle here. It is a big, thick handle. And uh, yeah, it's nice. And you got your cord back here, of course. Exhaust back here and more uh, stickers and all that junk. Uh, it does have rubber feet on it, which is cool. I know some of the cheaper models don't have the rubber feet on it, so you're just uh, setting the metal right on the ground. And once it vibrates, it's annoying as hell, man. But uh, yeah, here's where the hose goes. And then you got your uh, uh, release here, your air release. Now, I'm sure you guys, most of you guys know, but always release that at the end of the day. You never want air sitting in your tank. Uh, especially more than a day or two it could rust out and then you know obviously blow a hole through it but yeah so so far there's the tank it looks nice beautiful DeWalt yellow and black of course but uh, yeah that's cool now the hose that comes with it once again it's pretty nice it's not the uh, hard plasticky kind this actually feels nice good uh, thick rubber uh, I was just reading it. It looks like it's a 300 PSI. Uh, once again, I would never use 300 PSI on this hose. You know, I, I would buy one specifically made for for that to handle 300 PSI. But for what I'm using it for, you know what I mean? 120, 150 would be more than enough for me. Uh, it does have the quick connect on it as well, which is cool. Other side here, obviously. But yeah, once again, it comes in a nice uh, bright yellow as well, which is cool. Yellow and black for DeWalt. And then finally, we get to the gun itself. The gun looks very nice. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, I forgot to mention too, guys. It does obviously include all the directions and all that. You get your uh, some testing nails with it. Cool. It does come with the belt hook. If you want to uh, attach this, obviously just put it on. You can hang it on your belt. I think these are very annoying and they always get in the way. So I never use them. But the gun itself, once again, beautiful DeWalt, uh, yellow and black, gorgeous. Um, it does have the swivel here, which is cool. Uh, like I said, on some of the cheaper models, it's just stiff and doesn't move at all. I love this, man, because I get into some tight spaces, so th this is great for me. I love having the swivel. Um, it does have rapid-fire action if you want to switch modes, uh, you know, where you can just bump it and have it fire at the same time. It will do that. Uh, open this guy up here in a second. There's the other side as well. It does have the rubber bump stop on it or whatever you call that piece there. It's nice. Uh, the weight distribution is good. It doesn't feel top heavy or bottom heavy. Uh, it actually just feels uh, just right, guys. This, this It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice gun. Um, one thing I did notice that I don't like is you cannot change the uh, exhaust. I mean, not that big of a deal. It is down here and on the inside. I don't know if I'm going to pick that up very well, but if you can see it there. So, you know, when you're nailing like this, the air shoots out this way which isn't bad so it's still firing away from you and it's not you know blowing the exhaust in your face every time you pull the trigger which is cool speaking of the trigger it's pretty nice it's got a little bit of push to it you know i mean it's not just doo -doo -doo. so it you can feel it being uh depressed so that's cool but uh yeah so here's the gun itself like i said you get everything in here guys it's a pretty uh complete manual as well about the gun and how to use it and how to use the setup and how to use the rapid fire all of that good stuff. Uh, manual for the compressor as well. Tells you all that good stuff and the hose. So, uh, so far, so good, guys. I'm going to power this thing up and uh, see how that goes. But so far, I'm pretty happy, especially with $180. So, uh, stick with me and we'll uh, do a quick review of it. 
All right, so I'm getting ready to fire this thing up to see how loud it actually is. Now, I know this isn't like a quiet one or anything, so I'm expecting it to be pretty freaking loud. But two things I did want to mention. First of all, about the hose. It is a 50-foot long hose. So that's pretty generous of them. I was expecting a 25-foot in one of these, um, you know, setups that comes with everything or whatever. And like I said before, guys, it is a pretty nice hose and a 50-foot one, so that's pretty cool. And this one here... I also, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but it's for 5 8 to 2 1 and 8 size nails in it. So, yeah, pretty good range. But, anyway, um, you can also adjust. I was thinking the um, that this was the uh, depth, but it's not. Under here, you can see the little uh, round wheel here where you can adjust it. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it up very well. But, yeah, you can see it. This was for the rapid fire setup, not the depth guy. So, yeah, let's turn this thing on. And blow out our eardrums. I'm back here on my little uh, back porch. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Here we go. Huh. It's actually not as bad as I thought. My last one was a lot louder than this. It does have a little bit of a rattle to it. I wonder what that is. So I'm not set up right because I'm not building up any pressure. So let me figure out what's going on and get right back. Alright, there we go. Found the source of the problem. The uh, What I thought was the little drain lever is a little on-off switch. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up, guys. But there's a little on-off switch here underneath the tank right here. And it was still on-off, so I had to turn it on. And uh, this here is your actual drain trigger to drain the air out of the tank there. So... Yeah, uh, it's it's not too loud. Uh, like I said, the last little uh, compressor that I had was a little louder than this one. But this one does take a little bit longer to fill up. Uh, it took me maybe three minutes to get it up to about 115. Actually, about 110. As you can see here. So Let's fire a couple and see how it does. See how straight the gun actually shoots. And we'll take it from there. So we got the, uh, I believe there's uh, one inch nails in it right now. Which is what it came with in the package. So we'll go ahead and fire a couple here. To a little piece of wood. Now, as you can see, it didn't sink them all the way because, oh yeah, it did. It actually went in pretty good. And I had this set up to um, not counter sink very much, so maybe there's just a lot of air going through there on this soft pine as well. So I'm actually going to back it out a little bit and see how it does from there. Hey Nub, you want to turn that this knob right there for me? Turn it towards the compressor. You feel it moving? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's good for now. Well, let's try. We tried backing out a little bit, so. And honestly, that looks about the same as these first couple. I'm going to try it a little bit more, actually. Uh, let me see here. Turn that knob again a little bit. Now let's see where we are. Man, this is some really soft pine, so it's just sinking these things right in. Well, I mean, it's a little bit better, but I'm sure if I wound this thing, you know, all the way out. But I don't want to do that because I like to countersink these nails anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's a little better there. Almost right at the top. Maybe a 30 second sinking it, but, yeah, it's pretty good. And I can feel the exhaust coming out. Like I said, down here is where it was coming from. Uh, right here is where the air shoots out from the exhaust. And uh, it's not annoying or it doesn't get in the way or anything like that. Let's see here. Just shooting some at an angle. And yeah, these are stuck way up more now that there's some uh, resistance to it because of this piece of wood here. So I will sink that back down for sure. Give it maybe three or four turns. Now let's try that again. Oh yeah, much better. We'll go at an angle again. Yeah countersunk it and didn't get in the way so i could even go a little more than that but so yeah it's pretty nice man like i said i don't i don't really feel the exhaust or anything like that sinks them pretty good uh 
like I said, it feels good in the hand. I like the weight distribution a lot. Uh, if anything, it's a little bit heavier at the top up here, which which is what I like. You know, what I mean, you don't want it down here and throw you way off. So, but yeah, feels good in the hand, guys. Um, this the handle isn't very comfortable. Uh, it's not like a rubber. It's more of a plastic feel to it. So I can see, uh, you know, if you're firing 150, 200 shots at a time, it might get a little bit uncomfortable. But it's not heavy, uncomfortable. Just you know, it doesn't have the greatest grip in the world. But uh, yeah, overall, it still uh, feels good. Um, another weird thing is it doesn't like push down here. You know what I mean? You basically just set it on and fire. Now I believe I can do something to uh, control that as well. I'll have to read the manual about that, but, uh, let's see. Firing straight, yep, at an angle. But, uh, you know, like I said, the only two things that I really don't like, um, not a big deal about the exhaust because I don't feel it. The handle is not very comfortable. I wish maybe it had some kind of, a. Uh, a rubber grip to it and it would feel a lot better in my hand but uh i don't know i might be able to wrap a, a cushion around it or something like that but because uh, i do use a uh, nail gun a lot in the stuff that i build so um pressure you know, i fired maybe what uh 10 12 shots didn't lose too much but and like i said the compressor it's not very loud it's not too loud at all i've <laughs> had a lot louder ones but it does take a little longer to fill up for sure um, as far as everything else, obviously, I don't hear any leaks or noises or anything like that. So, seems good to go, guys. Um, I didn't fire anything bigger than what I have now. And I can't remember if I told you, yes, it does shoot from 5 8 to 1 and, I mean, 2 and 1 8. So, we're good to go. Well, I guess that's about it. I think that's the whole review, guys. Uh, so far, so good. Like I said, I've only had it for one day. Uh, I tried to show you what I could about it, about the actual compressor itself. Um... Not very noisy at all. It's kind of quiet. Um, takes a while to fill up, but it seems okay. The hose is very nice hose for, you know, something that comes with a kit. And I'm pretty surprised, too. The nail gun's pretty nice as well. So, like I said, guys, for 180 bucks, I'm uh, pretty happy so far. Maybe I'll do an updated review in a month or so and uh, see how I like it uh, after then. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.